Hi, how is everybody doing? So, walk of faith series today in the car. Quick one, short one, brief one. Okay. So, uh, last video we covered spirit, soul, and body. Okay, spirit, soul, and flesh, or spirit, soul, and body. And that's very important for our walk of faith, our walk with the Lord. Because now that I have a re revelation that I am a spirit, and that's priority, right, in my life. And then I have a soul and I'm just living in a body which is temporary, right? So now my priorities in life will change. So I pay more attention to my spirit man, all right? compared to my other things in life okay as much as we seek other kind of knowledge but the knowledge from the word of god is more powerful than any worldly knowledge and that's the importance of understanding that uh, i am a spirit first okay uh then only then that i have a soul you know which is the mind the will and the emotions so this is a very powerful tr truth and i also covered that many of our decisions uh you know are, are are driven by one of these it's either a very fleshy decision a very rush a very emotional decision or it's a very godly decision or you know it's it's led by the spirit and in the book of romans it says that uh, those who are led by the spirit of god are sons of god uh, the real meaning of that is sons of god of course everybody who is saved and believes in Jesus is a child of God, right? There is no argument about that. But the difference is those who are led by the Spirit of God are mature sons of God. Okay, there is a maturity in these people who are led by the Spirit of God, led, LED, or guided, led by the Spirit of God. So that's something important in our walk of faith. Okay, and then I'm going to repeat again to say that uh, why I repeat because repetition is the mother of learning okay not the father the mother just joking so uh that, that's that's the important of the principle of uh faith comes cometh by hearing faith comes by hearing which is an ongoing process you know i i cannot so-called do my walk of faith today because i heard something on faith uh last month or last year all right so in the walk of faith principle faith comes by hearing it's an ongoing process it's an ongoing process all right that's why uh, for me and my family every morning even as we send our kids to school we have our faith declarations we all declare together in the car all right uh, from my six-year-old son Fable, who is gonna be seven soon uh, my daughter with 13 my wife and i we declare together in the car right faith declarations one day i can share some with you so that's very important uh, i also shared uh, from the book of romans which is a very popular verse uh, and that is do not conform to the pattern of this world the bible says but be transformed right many people want a life transformation and, and they're trying different things and different ways and it's not working okay and bible has the answer and it's a very clear answer do not confirm to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind okay then you know the good and pleasing and the perfect will of god so in other words if you want your life to be transformed you got to renew your mind okay the problem with us believers is we can do a lot of things which are very spiritual but we do not renew our mind but that's a condition okay for a transformed life remember i said many of our decisions are made in the soul realm okay so if many of the decisions i make in the soul realm or in the soul space remember i said that the soul will either follow the flesh or the soul will follow the spirit remember you are a true son of god and you are led by the spirit of god but the deciding factor actually is the soul so how how i do how do i get to that level that the soul will follow the 
spirit or is led by the spirit. If I'm not fed with the word of God, with the principles of God, with the truth of God, all right, the most that the soul can do, okay, the soul will make an intelligent decision. Okay, you can go far with an intelligent decision, but you cannot go very, very far. All right, why? Because as a believer now, I understand that the spiritual law is always more powerful than the natural law. So no matter how much logic and intellect I use, there is always limitations. All right, why? Because the spiritual world, even though it's unseen, it's more powerful than what we see around us. Okay, it's very powerful. And that is why uh, feeding daily with the Word of God is it's crucial, it's crucial. All right, I give you the real incident which happened when I was jogging in the park that uh, a few days ago there was a strong wind and thunder and just after that right I went to jog and I saw about four or five trees which is just uprooted right just on, on the ground but other trees were all fine and I said in the other video that the reason they were uprooted from the ground was their roots were not deep down in the earth. Our faith foundation is the same. If I have a strong foundation, no matter what storms or winds come in life, right? If I have a strong foundation of faith, those winds and storms and thunders will not affect me. Right? They will not affect me. So that's the importance of understanding that I am a spirit so now if I have the when I have this revelation that I am a spirit okay that means I am able or God has empowered me to obey spiritual laws all right I'm not covering here ten commandments I'm not going into covenants now maybe another video we talk about covenants in the Bible I'm talking about, I'm just talking about principles and spiritual laws and I already give you an example in the last video the ten percent the tithe okay in the natural mind, the, in the intellectual mind, cannot conceive the concepts of tithes or the 10%. I take 10% of income, I give to God. The intellect say, no, 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 that's nonsense, doesn't make sense. All right? You are less, you have less. Bible, Bible says you'll have more. God says you'll have more, I'll bless you more. Why? Because you honor me first. So it's a principle. Put God first. Seek the kingdom of God first. All right? The intellectual mind cannot understand that. It comes by a revelation. So I get the revelation that I am a spirit. Okay. I have a soul. So now since I'm a spiritual being. Alright. Now I can obey spiritual laws. Yeah. So I think I'll hand here today. Because uh, my wife just came in the car. She came from the bank. So. <laughs> yes. So what did you say? To be debt free. Yeah. Yeah, to be debt free. She went to the bank to be debt free. I don't know what she means. To clear debts. <laughs> oh, to clear debts. Amen to that. So be blessed, guys. So walk off here today. Is in the car? <laughs> I'm not walking today. Driving. All right. And uh, also to avoid the wind. There is a strong wind nowadays. All right. So God bless you. Subscribe to my humble channel, Uncensored Truth. And God loves you. We love you. Uh, if you find this information good, useful share with others all right share it with others i mean these are really practical truths that we have used i think by now it's more than 10 years and uh, we have seen the fruits of it all right and that's what you want in your life if there is so much talking and preaching and whatnot there but bottom line is the truth and i thank god that we have already seen the fruits and the harvest so be blessed bye bye